Alright, this is a full moon reading for Libra. Um, this is the full moon for December in Cancer the Crab, the cold moon, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty chill. Anyway, um, so it, with it being in Cancer the Crab, it's a water sign, so it's mostly talking about emotions and a few other things. So, um, let's get into it. So, what is the current emotional state? Um, you're in Libra. Let's see. Um, the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, planning, making decisions, leaving home. A man set apart, often a roller, um, courage to face, contemplate the world, um, great riches, manufic, <laughs> manufic, <sighs> amazing, <laughs> let's do that, uh, amazing structure that's not appreciated. So you could be very well off or you could be very um, you know, good in your business or whatever and you're not getting recognized for it or there could be other things that aren't taking place um, that you're being recognized for. So, um, uh, could be a bit heartbreaking, could be just a bit, you know, not your time to have that type of appreciation, but, um, it's, it's kind of getting to you. Um, so we have what can develop from your sense of security. What can develop your sense of security? Let's see. Um, two of pentacles. So loss of balance, disorganization, overwhelm, overwhelmed. Uh, literal talent bills, um, uh, fr freight, enjoyment, that means that you kind of fake, um, enjoyments, um, any message or a letter, so, um, kind of in the middle of getting things done, the mundane, could be a bit of, like, a security factor, it could kind of be where the comfort is. It's kind of day-to-day -day routine things could be where you're secure and you feel a sense of security. But um, overall, it's kind of like you don't want to be in stuck in the same mundane tasks or mundane things. But that's where it's going to develop your sense of security. So it's going to be something to build on. Um, then we have, what can your vulnerability teach you? Let's see, we have the hanged man. Hanged man is sacrifice release. Um, this is a card of change, not, not yet fully realized, a law before the storm, a question between heaven and earth, a regeneration um, of spirit, sometimes decision to sacrifice one's goals or family, um, an improvement. So, um, this could be a chance to have an improvement or you're planning on having an improvement. Um, so, it's kind of just, you know, planning. It could be how to get there, the path, and what you're going to have to sacrifice. Um, so, you know... It could be a lot that you're sacrificing, <laughs> like you're sacrificing everything to get to the next point of where you want to be. Um, so it's entirely up to you in this decision. So where is the sensitivity heightened in the cycle? Um, we have strength. Strength is a Leo energy, so it's um, kind of embracing inner strength. So... Bravery, compassion, focus, inner strength, control of a situation, bravery, unwavering attention to a quest, um, ability to overcome temptation, physical strength, mind over matter, matter over mind, a Herculean effort for a personal end for the sake of the world at large. So, um, I believe that... It, 
at some point or another, you're going to realize that you can make an influence or an impact in some way, shape, or form. It could be from the littlest thing to the most biggest thing. Um, but I do feel like it's kind of like a calling, um, but it may take you a minute to gather everything in order to set out on this journey. Um, so basically you're in planning mode right now and then everything's going to start taking shape or it's going to start materializing um, into a drawn out plan of what you want to do. Um, and it could impact the world or um, where you live or something like that. But it's going to be an improvement of some kind for the sake of um, you and your family, I think. Um, it could also be you finding your way in the world, finding a niche, something that hasn't been done before. So it's, it's something that, you know, you didn't really think you could do, but then you're going to plan it out and do it. So that's what I feel. Um, so Libra, I hope this helps you out in some way. Um, all these cards are kind of like the planning cards, the balance cards, um, so you have a collection of twos, and you have the twelve, and you have the eight. So together they make twenty, so that's also a two. So there's three twos in some way, shape, or form in this reading. So if you want to look that up and find out what three twos mean in a reading, then by all means. Or maybe you want to look up the meaning of two, 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 which would also help you out. Anyway. Thank you, Libra. I hope this helped you. And if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comments section below and I will read those. Um, thank you and I will see you in the next reading, which would probably be next week if I'm if I'm 100%. But also, um, coming in the new year, I will also be doing love readings so you can get the energy, at least, or the feel of what's going on. Um, I didn't really want to do a long, drawn-out thing, but I wanted something that would just keep you aware of what's going on. Maybe things are ending, maybe new energies are coming in, stuff like that, so... Look forward to that. That'll be on, I think, Fridays. I think the first one's going to be on a Saturday, though. So January 2nd should be the first one. And then it should um, normalize into the Fridays. So big things to look forward to. And the weekly readings will also be pretty regular on um, Tuesdays, as always. So... Anyway, thank you, Libra, and, you know, I will see you in the next reading, maybe the love reading, maybe the weekly reading on the 29th, so, you know, everything will work out, I'm pretty sure. Alright, bye now.